You can probably see him. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out there. <laughs> Training. Training's rough. So, um, mm. we were challenged by working Aussie's Homestead here in North Carolina uh, in this collaboration video on our three home, I think it's three, That's they did three, Homestead Goals for 2020. Um, and it's I a thought it was 20, 20 goals. 20 for 2020. <laughs> If you want to say 20 goals, you go right ahead. But this uh, collaboration was started by the house on Avera Road. So um, we're going to tell you what we've got planned for this year. Yeah. So, um, so what are your plans? My plans? Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> why don't you start? Because <laughs> we're right here at the pigs. The pigs are yours. Oh, okay. They're not mine. I do love pigs, though. That's why I got them. No. -uh. They're really cute, though. Yeah. Um, so this year I'm planning to, well, one of my goals is to raise these pigs back here in the forest. Basically in a sustainable way where it's very low input. Um, it doesn't cost very much to keep them in back there, hopefully. We'll see. So right now we're doing training to the electric fence, as you just saw. Um, <laughs> so yeah, one of my goals this year is to raise pigs in the forest so I'm gonna fence in a put in a perimeter fence and then make sectional paddocks so that I can move them throughout the forest and not have to feed them so much and they'll love it mm -hmm. <laughs> they'll be really oh, yeah. excited yeah and the, the pork will be <clears throat> better better than we've ever had more than likely because that's the way pigs were intended to be raised so I've read <laughs> <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Homestead goal number two. So, what's your part in that? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know what. Fixing the bacon. Pretty much, I get the cook. Um. But what do I have a go do I have a job in in the pig production? Castrating. I'll let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I don't know. I will help. <laughs> but there's not much to do they're pretty easy yeah just throw out some feed in the mornings and make sure the water's good yeah I, I really like pigs I think they're fun mm -hmm. and um, yeah one mm -hmm. reason I got them now is because this is going to be a garden area and so I wanted them to clean it up basically get all the roots out I've noticed today I didn't feed them this morning and I've noticed they're digging up all the uh, Bermuda grass which is nice mm -hmm because that stuff is terrible, it's <laughs> yeah. invasive. <laughs> yep. All right, so homestead goal number two. <coughs> Which is what? <coughs> it, I guess right here still is your garden. Oh, your garden. You don't have any goals. Mm -hmm. Mine's number three, oh. I'm waiting for number three, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> so another goal of mine this year is to plant somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 tomato plants out here and um, grow them to sell, basically. Um, I wanna give it a shot. I think, I mean, I have plenty of space to expand in the future, but I have a really good friend that already does it. And I think this year he's putting in somewhere around like 2,500 tomato plants, Goodness. which is nuts. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna work together a little bit. I'm gonna learn from him and uh, it's gonna be fun. I, I like having uh, something that I can focus on, especially in the garden, because if I don't have a plan, then I'll just plant stuff everywhere, and then I don't know what is where, and, mm -hmm. you know. So. I definitely don't know what is where. Um, and I run out of room, so I like <laughs> I like that I have a plan this year, and I'm gonna be focused on one thing, which is gonna be nice. So stay tuned. We have lots of tomatoes coming on. <laughs> And they're still testing the fence. <laughs> so anyway, I'll show you the tomatoes. I've got some started already. So. Yeah, let's walk to the greenhouse. So okay. So I need to do an update anyway, because I don't think I, I haven't done any videos on this, have I? But no, I've added really. some shelving. I hooked in our solar collector 
I've got a, this barrel as a heat source. But anyway, I'll explain all that in another video. But anyway, here's some uh, tomato starts. Hmm. I haven't even counted them. It's a bunch. You know what this is? Any guesses? Onion. <coughs> Leeks, that was close. What about this? <clears throat> Look at all those. Leeks? Yep. Oh. What about this? Any idea? <laughs> oh gosh, is it labeled somewhere? No. Everything kind of looks the same to me. It's so. pop choy. Okay. <clears throat> well, I was going to say some sort of lettuce, but I didn't know what. This is Swiss chard. Okay. You want to try one? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like Swiss chard sprouts, huh? Mm -hmm. That's good. I need to sprout some stuff in here for us to eat like that on salads. Yeah. Peas and some flowers and stuff. Yeah. There's cauliflower. Okay. <clears throat> cool. plants or so. <coughs> so, um, it's a lofty goal, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And a lot of we work. We got these things. <coughs> Pretty excited about these. Make our own soil blocks. Instead of using all this plastic. Where did you get those? <coughs> I think they had a special in the Mother Earth News catalog. Oh, okay. Can you get them on Amazon? Like They're from Johnny's. Johnny's Seeds. Okay. Yeah. But you just wet the soil and stick it in there. It's not going to do it now because it's not wet. But you wet the soil. Cool. Pushes out little blocks. So I guess homestead goal number three, um, he let me choose because um, a lot of the homestead stuff is, is, you know, that's what he ponders on. That's what he thinks about. And, um, and he really loves and enjoys. Uh, I do more of the um, online business aspect of our of our business, so I don't do a whole lot outside, or I'm not responsible for a whole lot outside. But this year is the first year I would like to plant um, some herbs, get some herbs started. I've never really planted herbs before. What have we had? We've had um, we've had sage, and we've had um basil and basil rosemary, and rosemary. Um, but i'd like to really look into some medicinal herbs and we already have some <clears throat> that we can um plant so am i going to be planting these on the outside yeah okay so um have you shown this in a video your beds yet mm -hmm. okay so um he's done some raised <clears throat> beds on the inside of the greenhouse and on the outside of the window out there too so um, he's going to let me uh, and, and Sydney, I guess, have reign of most of the outside, <coughs> unless you have plans for that too. And, um, and we're going to plant some, some flowers and we're going to plant some different herbs that we can also use in teas and tinctures and whatever we want to use them for medicinally. Um, so I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we usually order herbs if we need them from Mountain Rose Herbs, um, but it'll be nice to, and we have a friend who gives us herbs sometimes too, but that she grows, but um, it'll be nice to be able to grow our own and to make our own concoctions and, um, and that kind of thing. So we're excited about all the, we're excited about the greenhouse, <laughs> but we're excited about all the new <coughs> stuff we're trying this year. So, so you have heard from us and what we're up to this year and now we want to hear from a few of our other friends about what they're up to in 2020 so we're tagging a few other channels um jennifer at farmer Mimo, megan at creating essence don at little mountain life david and kathy at keto country homestead heather at haven heritage farm and Amy at the Fuel Homestead. So we can't wait to see what these guys are up to for the coming year. It just inspires us to see what other people are up to and I hope that we've inspired you a little bit to make some goals for this year and your homestead or your 
box uh, in the window of uh, some you know little herb or something that you've got planted whatever it is whatever situation you're in we hope that um, you will set a goal and work on it um, this year so I hope you guys have a good one we will talk to you next time bye